Hey everyone, I'm Christy, and today we're continuing our series, Ignite Your Life. Ignite means to catch on fire. Why are we talking about that? Well, we're talking about having an excitement and passion in our lives when it comes to our faith in God. We should be so excited and so on fire for God that we want to share Him with others. Being a follower of God isn't something that we should do timidly or halfway. We should be all in. There's a Bible verse that tells us that no matter what we do, we should do it for the glory of God. Even something as simple as eating or drinking. That's in 1 Corinthians. We want to ignite our lives with the same passion that the Bible tells us to approach everything. When we do things for Jesus, we have joy in our hearts. See, happiness is temporary. When we're watching our favorite movie, eating a good snack, or spending time with friends, we're happy. Happiness is dependent on something happening to make us feel happy, and then it ends when that thing ends. But what's the passionate form of happiness? Joy. Joy comes from God. It's a feeling that you can have even in the saddest moments. Joy is not based on circumstances. It's based on having a relationship with God. God gives us joy all the time when he lives in our hearts. And the best way to allow joy into our lives is by sharing our faith with others. Today, I want you to remember this one thing. Sharing your faith leads to joy. Sharing our faith not only brings us joy, but it allows us to connect with one another and share God's joy with them. But we can feel fear when it comes to sharing our faith. What if someone rejects what I'm sharing? What if my friends treat me differently? What if they hear what I'm saying wrong and then it get upset with me? But if we're sharing our faith, even if there is rejection, we're going to discover true joy. We're going to feel so fulfilled and that's going to outweigh any discomfort or awkwardness. No matter what, God has a path for each of us and his path for each of us leads to good when we trust in him and obey him. And our memory verse for this series reminds us of that. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Romans 8, 28. Sharing can be difficult, especially with different interests and opinions. Maybe you have a hard time sharing your hobbies with someone who has completely separate hobbies, or you have a hard time sharing your opinion with someone who has the opposite perspective. But sharing Jesus can be simple. And when we share Jesus with others, it brings joy. Sharing your faith leads to joy. Say that with me. Sharing your faith leads to joy. So how do we live in the joy of the Lord? Number one, cultivate a heart of passion. A heart of passion is exactly what our Ignite series is all about. We should be passionate about sharing our faith with others. That means not only using each opportunity we come across to share Jesus, but also creating opportunities by going above and beyond. The more we pour our hearts and energy into our faith, the more our hearts become more passionate. And we need to all be passionate if we want to reach everybody because every single person is important to reach. In Luke 15, 8 through 10, a woman loses one of her 10 coins. After tirelessly searching her house, she rejoices when she finds it. And this joy is so overwhelming, she cannot contain it within herself and feels the need to share this joy with her friends and neighbors. This is what it's like for us to share our faith with others and invite them into the family of God. Let's read. Or suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Won't she light a lamp and sweep the entire house and search carefully until she finds it? Even though the woman had other coins, she placed value in every single one, just like we should put value in every single person around us. We can't look at only the people in our lives who already know God and think that our work is done. Let's be passionate about our faith and sharing God's joy and love with everyone. Let's be passionate about finding those who are lost and don't have a relationship with God. When we make the decision to live out our faith openly and share it with others, what we gain is far greater than any discomfort or fear. We reflect God God's love guiding others towards the light of Christ and participating in their journey towards salvation. This experience fosters a profound sense of purpose, deepens our connection with God, and brings great joy. Sharing your faith leads to joy. Let's say that together. Sharing your faith leads to joy. 
Number two, celebrate each victory. It might feel impossible to share the word of God with everybody in our lifetime, but our individual mission is not necessarily to share with the whole world. Our mission might just be the people in our lives, the people who are in our circles of influence. The important thing is that we put value in every single person we're able to share our faith with so that we can be with them in their journey. Let's keep reading about the woman and her lost coin. And when she finds it, she will call in her friends and neighbors and say, rejoice with me because I have found my lost coin. In the same way, there is joy in the presence of God's angels when even one sinner repents. The woman celebrated and rejoiced just after finding one coin. That might not seem like a lot to us, but to her, they were so special and important. And that's because she searched for it passionately. She didn't just wander around her house and hope that she would find it maybe later. She searched high and low for the one lost coin. We shouldn't just wander around expecting to find people who we can share our faith with. That's not passionate sharing, that's lukewarm sharing. And lukewarm anything isn't good. Let's be all in as followers of Jesus and experience the wonderful joy that awaits us. Let's look for those people in our lives that are lost and don't know Jesus. Let's share with them. And then let's experience God's joy with them and celebrate when we bring them into the family of God. Sharing your faith leads to joy. Jesus uses the parable of the woman who lost and found her coin as a symbolic guide for us as we share Jesus with others. This woman and her relentless search and the joy she experienced upon finding her lost coin embodies the spirit of unwavering faith, perseverance, and joyous discovery that's in the heart of evangelism. The joy the woman expressed upon finding her lost coin echoes the joy we experience when someone finds Christ through our efforts, when we lead someone closer to Jesus. It's a joy that is deeply personal, immensely fulfilling, and meant to be shared. Now let's say you're listening to this teaching and you're thinking that you are way too nervous to walk up to people and begin talking about God. Believe me, I understand where you're coming from. So don't put so much pressure on yourself to go out and change the whole world. Instead, change the world of someone around you. Spread God's love through your words and your actions. Be different. Be a good example that makes people want to be around you. Be loving and patient and kind. Then when your friends and family ask what's different, tell them your story. Open up your eyes to the people around you. Seek out those who are lost. I know you have people in your family and friends who are not followers of Jesus. Be intentional and look for ways to share God's love with those people. And maybe you haven't made Jesus the leader of your life and you feel that calling right now. You want to experience his joy for the first time and live a life that is ignited for him. I'm going to pray in a few minutes and you can make him the leader of your life. Sharing your faith leads to joy. God has a purpose for each of us. But one thing we all share is that we are called to spread his love. We should work on strengthening our faith every day so that we know more about him and then we can more easily share our faith with others and receive that endless this joy. This week, I want you to just spend time praying every morning. God, help me to lead everyone every day closer to Jesus. Allow God to open your eyes to the opportunities around you where you can share his love. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much that you love us and that you sent your son for us. Help us to just be open to the people around us to share your love with others so that we can experience your true joy, even in the craziest of circumstances. Help us to just be your light in this world. And if you haven't made Jesus the leader of your life, you can do that with me right now. Just pray. Dear God, I recognize I've sinned and I've done wrong and I don't want to do that anymore. I want to experience your joy in my life. Come and be the leader of my life and change my heart. In your name we pray. Amen. Remember, sharing your faith leads to joy.